What's up everybody, I'm the Man Goose, you are awesome, and welcome back to Goose Bites, a little mini MOBA updates, if in case you don't want to watch the, the full thing on For the Minions. Um, not a lot of news this week, in fact I had nothing for Core, and nothing for Ethereal, um, huge news from Predecessor, a little tiny news for Phoenix Rising. Um, so this week for Predecessor, you know, they've been telling us that they have been internally testing the game and working out some of the bugs, and that the input lag is resolved, and that's all well and good, I mean that's them telling me and then i relayed that information to you however this week um i got called in uh, they didn't have enough people to do the uh their internal testing so uh they they, they opened up the opportunity to, to a few people that had alpha keys to come in and test the game and i can tell you from first-hand experience that that input lag is completely gone um game felt a hundred percent better and uh, i can't show you any, any of the footage from it um that we were under nda um so, but yeah, it's it felt really good. A, a lot of the collision stuff that was going on before is gone. The the footsteps have been reduced. I know that was the the main thing for a lot of people was those loud ass footsteps. But yeah, the game feels really good. Predecessor is trucking along. If you're if you've been sleeping on Predecessor, wake the fuck up because they are they are coming in with a vengeance. It's uh, hopefully they'll release that closed alpha again soon, and you know, a lot of people. Will, get in there with their alpha keys and by the way you can still sign up for their alpha keys on uh amedastudios.com is their website so yeah that was the news for press oh yeah big news that kind of got dropped on me kind of nonchalantly in the last four of the minions ruba says that he's fixed a lot of the grux animations um so grux fans rejoice that's why none of these games have been including grux in their alpha is because his animations and assets that were released from epic were very incomplete but uh as you've seen, uh, Tech Time on the channel with Ruba, he is very knowledgeable of the uh, Unreal Engine, so yeah, that's great news that he was able to do something about Grux. Um, let's move on to Phoenix Rising. I don't really have much for them, I just, I'm just going to let you know, that they're, they're starting to lay the groundwork for, for coming back into the media and letting us know what's going on it's you know it could be two three four five months from now before we actually see anything from them but any news about them stirring a little bit and uh coming back to life is good news i think so good on them so that is all i've got for the news and updates for this week um i did do a new intro for for the minions i think it's a probably a little over the top but uh you guys can let me know if you do watch for the minions this week um i might I might go back to the old intro. It's it's a little too much for what the show is, I think. But um, if you want to stick around, we can check out a few of the houses I do for my day job. If you don't know what my day job is, I maintain foreclosed houses for banks. Um, usually, you know, when people get uh, evicted from their house and somebody has to go in and take care of the stuff. And they usually leave those houses in really poor condition. So it's kind of fun to go in there and snoop about a little bit. So... If you're uh, sticking around for that, enjoy. Catch you later, guys. So we've got this back entrance with a whole bunch of trash and weeds and shit. Need to watch out for snakes. For sneaky snakes. Oh, here we go. Here we are. Fuck, I just got stung like a motherfucker. <laughs> Goddamn bees. I don't know where that son of a bitch came from. I don't see any bees nests in here. Yep, one got me again. God damn it. <laughs> well, I guess we're not doing this fucking property. Alright, guys. I had to retreat from the bees. We're down here in South Carolina, and this is definitely a fucking hoarder house. There are... I've never seen so many coffee mugs in my life. There's coffee mugs lined up outside. I haven't been inside, but I figured there would be more, ju judging by how many coffee mugs are laying on the ground outside. Jesus. I mean, I've seen worse. I've seen worse as far as the hoarder houses go. Well, I don't know yet. I haven't been all the way through this, but I've been, we went to a house one time down near Myrtle Beach where there were literally just maybe two foot channels through the just 
fucking garbage and shit. And, and it, there was raw garbage too. It wasn't. It wasn't just like shit like this. It's just like clothes and stuff that they've collected. That place down there, it was, there was just straight up raw garbage, and it was fucking nasty. Like, who the fuck lived here? Who the fuck lived in this? How the fuck do you live in this? Who uses that bedroom? Who uses this fucking room? Oh, that connects to the kitchen. Why do you collect all of this shit? Okay, here's a bed that you can, might actually be able to sleep on. Like, can you imagine getting up in the morning and then walking over all of this shit to get into your fucking closet? Can you imagine that? You can't get to that fucking bathroom over there. Unless you want to go mountain climbing. God damn. Why do people fucking do this shit? A bunch of old records. I should probably go through those. Some Sometimes those old records sell for quite a bit. But I can't really touch it until they give us a clean out order. I don't ever take shit out of these houses until they give us a clean out order because I'm not losing my job over an old record. Oh, we got some light in here. How many fucking freezers do you need? Jesus Christ. Oh, God damn. Oh, oh God. Oh, why did I not smell that coming in? Holy Jesus, titty fucking Christ. That is terrible. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is this... Oh, oh. When you the lid closes, it just fucking it went right in my mouth. Oh, why the fuck do you have three walk-in freezers full of shit? Is that seafood? Oh. Oh. God damn. What a fucking treat at the end of this one. Ugh. Let's see if I can get these. God, Jesus Christ, that stinks. Oh. There's three fucking walk-in freezers full of shit. I just need to measure this shit. No, we don't need to measure it now. We just need to show, say that it's already been done. Why are there so well, many coffee we, mugs? Are we saying that it's done by us? No. We're saying it's done by fucking ghosts, I guess. I don't know. Who said to say it was already done? <laughs> Who the fuck needs this many coffee mugs? Was the, Were the sheds full of shit, too? No, yeah, fuck that. Alright, folks, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for coming along and hanging in there. Say bye to Dre. <laughs> bye, Dre. All right, I'm out of here. Mango.